The Cabinet Office Minister and Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster, Steve Barclay, is with us now. Hello, good, good morning. morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, I suppose you want to start with an apology to the British public. Uh, well, um, we moved quickly uh, in response to the vaccine. Obviously, this report has just come out, so we want to look at it and consider it. That's why we've also got an inquiry to ensure that where there are lessons to learn, we do so. But we followed throughout the scientific advice. Uh, we got the vaccine deployed extremely quickly. We protected our NHS from the surge of cases. But of course, if there are lessons to learn, we're keen to do so. Keen to start with an apology, though, I would have thought. Uh, well, no, we followed the scientific advice. We protected, so no apology? We followed the scientific advice. We protected the NHS. 20,000 lives needlessly lost because you didn't lock down a week earlier and you don't want to apologise. Well, the issue of the timing of the lockdown was based on the evidence and the scientific advice at the time. The concern was if we'd locked down too soon, there wouldn't be a willingness to lock down for a long period of time. But it's right, Kay, that we look in the inquiry at what lessons there are to learn uh, and ensure that we learn from them. No apology that um, we were told by the then Health Secretary that there was a protective ring around uh, care homes and we know that that not to be the case. Well, the decisions were taken on the evidence and the scientific advice at the time. They were taken to protect the NHS. But the government took decisions at the time based on the scientific advice it received. But those scientists themselves were operating in a very new environment where they themselves were learning about the pandemic. I don't understand why you don't want to apologise. Well, there are lessons to learn, but the point is that we took decisions based on the science. There were 20,000 unnecessary deaths in the United Kingdom, many of them elderly people, and you don't want to apologise. Well, what I'm saying, Kay, is did we take decisions based on the scientific evidence we were protected? Why did we save say, lives? We're sorry. Did we save lives through deploying the vaccine at pace far quicker? Uh, the many comparable countries. 20,000 needless deaths, according to the report. You don't need to go through the whole, you know, hefty report in order to know that they, it says that 20,000 people died needlessly, many of them elderly and infirm. Are you not sorry about that? Well, this is why we're taking decisions, for example, around uh, why social can't you just care say, Yes, patients. we are sorry. Well, there will be lessons, and of course, where there's lessons, we're keen to take that on board. The fundamental point within your question is, are there lessons for us to learn no, from not. what happened at the pandemic? That's not and the answer question. to that is, we will learn the lessons. Minister, that's not my question, with respect. What I'm saying is that 20,000 families watching this morning, probably, um, lost a loved one. Uh, they couldn't go to the funerals because either they weren't allowed at all or the, there was a, an extended family and they couldn't all go. And um, We saw um, a young man who was lowered into the ground and his family couldn't be there and they had to watch it on Zoom. Um, 20,000 times that happened needlessly. How can you not say you're sorry? Well, that is heartbreaking, that impact on families, that impact... Uh, in terms of people's funerals is heartbreaking. And I think all of us feel that. All of us have friends and neighbours uh, who were in that situation. <laughs>